Coca-Cola içecek, also known as CCI, has added Bangladesh to its portfolio and has increased its total population that it serves to 600 million. In my opinion, Mr. Market is completely overlooking the potential of Bangladesh and CCI is being heavily undervalued currently. In this video, I will be briefly going over the reasons why I believe that is the case. Bangladesh's population's median age is 28, compared to 34 in the emerging markets. And also, they are growing faster. Not only that, they are expected to grow their GDP by 6.7% compared to 4% average in the emerging markets. The current GDP of Bangladesh is at $2,688, while Turkey's a little over $10,000. However, in Turkey, people consume 15 times more CCI products compared to Bangladesh. But an important point here is CCI just took over Bangladesh less than a year ago. So these numbers are the outcome of the previous butler which plays an important role. Looking at the previous success stories of CCI like Uzbekistan where they took over and quadrupled the earnings in such a short amount of time, it can be said that CCI is a high quality butler that can bring far greater results than their competitors. But these things take time. And Uzbekistan is a much smaller market compared to Bangladesh and it will take a little more time for CCI to build the infrastructure necessary to increase the sales such as coolers, logistics and so forth. Keep in mind that CCI's home market Turkey's population is only at 85 million people while not also growing as fast as Bangladesh and a 4 year older median age. However, the current market status of Turkey is much better with 5 digit GDP per capita and as I said earlier, a high amount of non-alcoholic ready to drink consumption compared to Bangladesh. So if CCI can write another success story similar to what they have done in Uzbekistan, the potential in Bangladesh is just mouthwatering. Bangladesh's weather is tropical meaning most of the year is hot and humid, which in theory increases the demand for CCI's products. Also, Bangladesh's market is still in its infancy. Majority of the demand is in sparkling category, the original Coca-Cola product mostly. CCI as a butler makes higher margins in areas of adult premium drinks like Schweppes and energy drinks like Monster. As the GDP per capita grows, I also believe the demand for these higher margin products will also increase and CCI margins overall will see an improvement. One final note is the instant consumption. As I said, the beverage market in Bangladesh is in its infancy and therefore the consumption is mostly made in bigger sizes. But the butler's margins are much higher in the instant consumption where you buy the product and consume it right away. Think of the prices of 300 and 500 milliliters compared to 1.5, 2.5 liters of Coca-Cola and you will realize that you are paying much higher price when you consume the smaller sizes. So overall, Mr. Market is completely overlooking the Bangladesh acquisition of CCI. Bangladesh is a very fast growing country with a very promising demographic structure and a 170 million population. Not only that, but specifically, the non-alcoholic ready-to-drink market is almost untapped. A highly competent butler like CCI can do wonders there, in my opinion, but they are still being valued at single-digit multiples. I have actually released a much deeper 34-page analysis of CCI very recently on my Patreon, where I not only go much deeper into Bangladesh, but in every aspect of CCI's business and investment case. If you subscribe, you will also gain access to my reports on my two other holdings, Reisash and Tau Airports. There is only a monthly tier there, where you can subscribe and cancel if you don't like my content there. I don't force you to commit to it for a year or so. I keep posting much more detailed analysis there, so if you'd like to try, the link is in the description. If you liked the video, please also consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also drop a like. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.